everybody. I've had a lot of requests to do a get ready with me, so let's do it. I've already put on my foundation, but uh, just to tell you what it is, it is the Too Faced Born This Way. What I thought I would do for this specific get ready with me is recreate the makeup that I wore when I went to go visit Jake at Ole Miss. Uh, I guess this was last weekend. I had a like the perfect makeup day. Everything came together and I looked, my makeup looked anyway really good. And I posted that picture on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, I will insert the pic now. I will just say though, for all transparency purposes, the foundation I was wearing there was the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, but I am totally in love with this and I cannot stop. I've worn this every day since I picked it up in the um, VIB Rouge sale. So there's that. And there's one other change that I'll mention as we get to it in the tutorial. My Get Ready With Me videos are one of my least watched videos. So I figure those of you that are sticking around to watch this are my most loyal um, viewers or you're just gluttons for punishment. I don't know which one it is, but either way, stick around to the end of the video because I do have a, a, a little prize for somebody or one of you um, that you will see at the end of the video. So it's just a, a way for me to uh, thank you for, for, for being here with me. I do really appreciate it, um, especially those of you that uh, are, are nice and watch my videos and have stuck around for a while. So stick around. Okay, so getting onto it. Foundation is already on, and now it's time to conceal. And what's really nice about this foundation is there's not much concealing that needs to be done, but the under eyes could always use a little extra help. So I always do a two layer process, correct and then conceal. So I'm correcting with my MAC Prep and Prime in uh, the shade Radiant Rose. I think the full name of this is MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen or highlighter and then the shade is Radiant Rose. I'm using this new uh, brush from Sigma. It's the Concealer Blend Kabuki. I like these big fat, I like it in concept. I like it on my other parts of my face. Under my eye it's a little big, but I do like that it's keeping my fingers clean for a change, especially when I'm filming on camera because normally I do not do my makeup in the middle of my family room and when I'm in my bathroom, I usually have, you know, like a towel in front of me to wipe my hands on. And sometimes when I film here, I forget. So it's nice to have this. I do like blending in on my face though. I think it does do a lovely job of blending. But do you need this? Uh, no, uh, you can use your fingers. Then on top of that, I've been using my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I usually just do three dots. So the uh, Prep and Prime, basically the color cancels out the blue tones in the underneath the eye. And then this stage just brightens it up. It's a shade lighter than my um, skin tone and it just adds some lightness under the eye and gives, a, gives me, at least it makes me feel like, it gives me a look of wide awake freshness to the face. That's the plan anyway. I don't think I've felt well rested since um, I was first pregnant with my first child. So it's been a while, but that's what makeup is for. Okay, and then if I have any blemishes or um, discoloration on my face, I've been using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Lately, I've been using the shade 02 Light Medium, but oh, there's a little spot. Little dark spot here. Okay, I think that is all blended in. So before I go to set with powder, I will add my last liquid, which is my eyeshadow primer. And it's been for years, even though they've renamed it, I think the formula stayed the same. It's the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. I have tried high end. I am a big fan of this one. I have not tried the Milani one. I know a lot of people love that one. I have not given that one a go yet. Alrighty, now here's where I am deviating from what I did uh, when I went away. I usually set my makeup with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in natural. I think I use medium or light medium. I can't remember. But the, one of the other things I picked up in the VIB Rouge sale, which was very underwhelming, there was nothing all that exciting, but the products that I did get 
even though they don't look all that exciting, have been really great. Uh, this is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfection Powder, or Sheer Perfecting, Sheer Perfecting Powder. It's, it's like nothing exciting. It's also not that easy to open when your hands are slimy, right? I mean, okay, yay, it's powder, but it's so, it just, I don't know, there's something really magical about it. It just makes my face like absolutely flawless. And the reason I set my, make, my makeup even though I have very dry skin, is I think it's because I have really dry skin. When I start layering on powder and contour or blush or anything like that, I think my skin tends to absorb it and it'll start skipping. Um, this makes my skin kind of have like an even canvas. And that way I can layer the next round of products on and nothing uh, gets patchy or weird on my face. Hope that makes sense to you. Okay, I don't know if you can see the difference, but as the day goes on, it's just beautiful. I love it. Okay, next step is a little bit of contour. We can all use a little help with that. And I've been just using this little Kevin Aquan guy and a new uh, fan brush. Look how tiny, so tiny. Again, from Sigma. Um, did you know you can get Sigma brushes at Nordstrom now? Yes, indeed you can. Okay, just tilt the head down. Now you can see the lines. It's literally paint by numbers here for contouring. So tilt your head down, ignore the double chin, look for the lines on your face and paint them. Like so. The reason I do this before bronzer is if I've been too heavy handed, which is given, then when I do my bronzer, I can blend it out a little bit. And then I just do it along the jawline. And then blend it a little down. Creating some shadows, make it look like I have this lovely chiseled jaw. And then I go along the edge of my forehead. I don't know why, I guess balance really. And that's that. And then we go on to bronzer and I like doing these um, kind of get ready with me using my travel products because these are the ones I just, I reach for. The stuff you bring with you when you travel is generally your, your favorite things. Um, so Too Faced Bronzer, the Chocolate Soleil, the Milk Chocolate Soleil, I guess it is, yes. And I've been using this Coastal Scents Big Fluffy Brush. It's part of the Pearl set. And I just go kind of back over and under where I did the contour and then up. And then the same on the other side of my face. Just warms everything up and it smells really good. Next step is highlighter. I am so loving this. This Laura Geller Gilded, it's the Baked Gelato, right? Yes, Swirl Illumin Illuminator in Gilded Honey. See, it's got the swirl. And what I really like about this um, over the Becca highlighters, and those highlighters are beautiful, is this is way more travel friendly. Those Becca highlighters are lovely if you're staying at home, but they are not exactly travel friendly. They're very fragile. So um, much prefer traveling with the Laura Geller one, and they come in other colors. I know they've released a holiday set. Kind of kicking myself I didn't pick that up. There's a pink one that I'm intrigued by. Anyway, I digress. So just slapping that on my cheekbones. Um, I like a lot of highlighter. I'm gonna do it right over my non-existent top lip. I did do lip fillers, oh gosh, it's been a year or two years now. I think it's been a year, a, year, a little more than a year. And I just don't feel like doing it again. I did it twice, that was good, it was an experiment. Okay, my nose is glowing like Rudolph. And yeah, I'm gonna leave it like, oh, let's do a little bit here. Just cause. All right, uh, face is not done. Last step in the face. This is another blush. I love this blush and I finally figured out which blush it reminds me of. This is the Cover Girl Classic Color Blush in the shade Soft Mink. And I finally, it just hit me right now why I keep reaching for this. This, I don't know if it's an exact dupe. I should do a quick video on this or maybe just an Instagram post. I think this is a dupe for the Benefit Rockateur, that, that um, 
box blush that looks like rose gold. It's beautiful. So big fat, real techniques, multi, I never get the name of this right, multi-task brush. Big smile. They now carry these at my grocery store. I think that is so awesome. Anyway, it's not so much a lot of color, it's just a nice glow. Although I'm looking on camera and it looks like there is a lot of color on my cheeks, but I'm looking in the mirror and there's not, so I don't know what's up with that. However, if in real life you have put on too much blush and you don't know this trick already, foundation brush, just go over what you did and it should take it down. Alrighty, let's get on with the eyes. So um, this is the eyebrow pencil I brought with me. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist and the reason I brought it with me, even though I prefer my Anastasia, is because I snapped the spoolie right off of it. And I was determined to only bring carry-on, so I really pared down, although really packing a spoolie would not have broken me, but this is the one I packed, so. I really just focus on the tail and here. The front of my eyebrow is just fine. I've been told this is a symptom, sorry, I think I've been out of frame. The symptom, uh, one of the symptoms of hypothyroidism is this thinning of the tail. I think it's also aging and over plucking, overzealous plucking. It's a variety of things, so anyway, that's that. And then let's put it in place with my favorite, NYX. I heard NYX came out with uh, brushes. I have not seen them yet. This palette is my most reached for palette, um, one of my most reached for palettes. And I don't think I've done a tutorial with it. I've meant to. If I have, somebody let me know. This is the uh, CoverGirl True Naked palette in nudes. I also have it in golden. I rarely use the golden. I don't have the rose one. I'm not a real pink person. I love, love, love this palette. So first, I like to lay down my crease color. I think this is the all-time best crease color for a fair shaded woman on the planet. It's this, this metal one here. It's matte, it's lovely, it's wonderful. And I will use, what did I use there? I guess it was, um, this. what is this one? Oh, it's a Sigma one, E25. Sometimes it's a MAC one. I have a variety of brushes that look like this. So, tilt the head back, cheat the crease, because my actual crease, as you can see, is way down here. That's too low, so I'm going way up here. Oh, that's not where my crease is. Way up here, which is actually not where my crease is, but we're gonna make it there, because I said so. Just back and forth. And you can pull it out a little bit to help cheat, but just don't go you know, too far past that tail in there. Okay, now onto my favorite. Well, I keep saying favorite. I think I love all these shades. So this is going on my lid. It's this frosty, I say fr that has bad connotations, right? Shimmery pink shade here. Um, I'm gonna focus that on the, from the middle of the lid to the inner corner, like so, with a, any kind of flat shader brush will do, but make sure you go slightly above where that natural crease is uh, to cheat and make your lids look bigger and your crease look like it's higher up. It's all smoke and mirrors, people. Then I just flip it over and I go for this other next step up on the food chain, so to speak, a uh, slightly deeper shimmery shade, and I concentrate it on the outer corner, outer third, I'd say, of the lid. Not corner so much, but just the outer third. Just gives it a little extra dimension. It's not a lot. Just to deepen up that outer V, I'm gonna go in with this uh, middle matte shade here, a little darker. Uh, dark brown here. There's a really dark one over there, but I'm not going to use that one. And again, it's with a E25 or a 217 or whatever version of this kind of overly shaped blendy brush that you use and really lightly just kind of stamping that in the corner 
I'm not done with it. There is a plan. You will see. Then, handy dandy blending brush. Swirl it around a little bit. Go in with this lightest matte shade. I mean, this palette has everything I want in a palette. It has a, uh, in the matte shades, it has a skin tone for me shade. It has a transition shade, a crease shade, has a darker shade. It has a really dark shade that I could use as a liner. It has a highlight frosty sh shade. It has, I'm just gonna use frosty, which I'm about to use. This one right here, I can use as a highlight in my inner corner. It has a, like a, a lighter shimmery shade uh, for my lid. It has a mid, it just, it's perfect. It is a neutral person's dream come true. I feel like this, these are, this is not a sponsor video. I just like the palette. Now that I put my inner corner highlight, I don't know if I mentioned what I was doing. I will go back with that mid-tone crease shade we used with the same pencil brush and just run it under the eye. Eyeliner is the Makeup Forever uh, eyeliner in the shade M60. And just, I, all I do is lay it sideways, sideways and run it the length of my eyelid. That's it. I figured I've been doing this for six and a half years. If I can't do a winged eyeliner, it's just not gonna happen. Okay, everything's done except for the fun part. Uh, curling the lashes, ow. I've had a lot of questions about what mascara I'm using because my lashes look amazing. Thank you. I, it's not the mascara. I've been using Rapid Lash for, I think it's six weeks now. I can't remember. Uh, so it's the Rapid Lash. But the mascara I took with me is the Chanel one, which is pretty good, I gotta say. Um, can't go, I mean, it's very black. It's uh, nice. I think I liked it a little better right at the onset of using it. I don't know that I like it any more than my Clinique Chubby Lash or the Lancome Grandiose or the Sigma Sinuosity. Those are still my top three. But this is very nice as well. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. Should have done the bottom lashes first. Everything's on. Last step is lipstick. And I wore, this was mentioned in favorites recently, is the Clinique Lip Color Pop in Bear Pop. And it held up nicely. And what I like about this shade is if it, as it wears off, it's not so obvious that I need touching up either, so. There you go. I don't know what's going on with my hair. It looked good a minute ago. All right, so that is the full look that I wore pretty much the whole weekend, but particularly that day, this is exactly what I did, barring the foundation and the powder. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Now let's get on to the fun part. You know that I love Erin Condren uh, planners. I am on my second one. And you know that I use those little links, um, not really affiliate links, but they're like recommending links or referral links. And then if you guys use that link, I get um, like a $10 gift certificate. So I've been holding on to those uh, referral gift certificates. And then I decided to add a little bit more of my own money just to make it um, a little more nice round number. So um, I have a one $100 gift certificate to give away to one of you as a thank you for all of your support and just to give back. I mean, you spend it and I'm just giving it back to you. So uh, I'm gonna put a link to a raffle copter giveaway in the description box below. All the details will be in the description box below, letting you know how long that'll go up. And I will just email the winner and let you know um, that you won. So I will do it that way, and then I will find a way to announce it somewhere on a video here, just so the whole world knows that uh, you won. But I'll be honest, I'm trying to pre-film as many videos as I can uh, coming up, because Jake's coming home for the holidays, and I wanna be able to spend time with him while he's here and not uh, make videos. So I don't know if I'll be able to insert that in a video in real time. 
just wanted to get that out there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Good luck to all of you who are entering. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I'm back with another makeup declutter video and in spite of all of your requests, I decided to uh, do a different category because, because of this, because my, my, my drawer is overflowing.